Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. In this video, we're going to be discussing diagrams for arguments. We introduced the diagrams for arguments that show how the premise provides support for the conclusion. And for the simplest kind of diagram, it consists of a single vertical arrow. This diagram is used in arguments which a single premise implies a conclusion. Here is an example. And to help draw a diagram, we will insert numbers before the statement. In this argument, statement 1 is the premise, and statement 2 is the conclusion. We diagram the argument like this. Now this diagram asserts that statement 1 implies statement 2. The next diagram is called the vertical pattern. The vertical pattern is used when a premise implies a conclusion, which in turn implies another conclusion. Here's an example of such an argument. The diagram will show that statement 4 supports statement 3, which supports statement 2, which supports statement 1. This pattern shows a chain of arguments. Next is the horizontal pattern. The horizontal pattern is when two or more premises independently imply a conclusion. Here's an example. And the diagram asserts that statement 2, 3, and 4 independently support statement 1. The next diagram is called the conjoint premises. This diagram is used when two or more premises depend on one another in support of a conclusion. Here is an example. The diagram asserts that statements 2 and 3 support statement 1 conjointly. See, independently, these statements, they provide little or no support. They depend on one another in supporting the conclusion. And the last basic pattern is called multiple conclusion. This pattern is used when a single premise supports two or more conclusions. Now here's an example. Now such an occurrence results in multiple arguments, but we can diagram them as if they were a single argument. So the diagram asserts that statement 1 supports both statements 2 and 3. Now I know you dread the practice problems, but I believe they're absolutely necessary to retain this information. So what you're going to want to do is press pause Struggle through the, the practice problems, get your experience with this, press play, and see if you get the answer correct. Now here's your first practice problem. Take a look at this argument, and first we're going to begin by selecting the pattern for this argument. All right, now go ahead and press pause, because I'm going to give you the answer in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. The two premises support the conclusion conjointly. Next, choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. I'm going to give you the answer in 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's correct. 2 and 3 support 1 conjointly. Now here is another practice problem. All right. Choose the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's correct. It's a chain of arguments. All right, now it's time to choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. One supports two, two supports three, and three supports four. All right, here's another practice problem. Look at this argument. Now choose the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. This argument has a multiple conclusion. All right, now choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Two and three form a multiple conclusion supported by one. Here is another practice problem. Begin by choosing the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Three premises support the conclusion independently. Next, choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. One, two, and three support four independently. Here's another practice problem. Choose the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct! Two premises support the conclusion conjointly. All right, choose the correct sequence of numbers 
in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Two and three support one conjointly. All right, here's another practice problem. First, choose the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. This passage contains a chain of arguments. Next, choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Four supports three, three supports two, and two supports one. And here's another practice problem. Begin by choosing the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. This argument has a multiple conclusion. Now choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Two and three form a multiple conclusion supported by one. And here is a final practice problem. Begin by choosing the correct pattern for this argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Three premises support a conclusion independently. Next, choose the correct sequence of numbers in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Two, three, and four support one independently. Very good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself a big round of applause. We covered a lot here in six minutes. You keep up with this logic. Your friends and family is going to think you're a genius. See our other videos on logic. Please post your questions and your comments below. Thank you so much. That's all, folks. Have a great day.